India is undoubtedly the jewel in the crown of ancient sculpture. And although Rome is home to the Renaissance, an attraction which lures enormous numbers of people there every year, India is unquestionably home to sculpture, which would put even the most efficient of the Italian masters to shame. However, conveniently, academia, and thus most of the modern world, overlook these astonishing feats of ancient art in favor of less controversial artistic wonders. One of our tried and tested methods of establishing whether an ancient artifact, or indeed an ancient ruin, attributed to a less capable, more modern imposter, is actually evidence of forgotten lost knowledge, is finding the puzzling accomplishments often hidden within the architecture or construction. One of the many examples of these is polygonal masonry. And although the modern man does indeed practice this lost art, a good example of this being found within the Cotswolds in the UK, known as Cotswold Dry Stone Walling, once built and still used to mark out very ancient land boundaries, and amazingly, longer than the Great Wall of China. These very old walls, created without the use of mortar, are compelling examples of a fragmented technique either borrowed or, possibly intriguingly, leftover memories of a now forgotten technology. And although these more modern attempts range in age stretching far into thousands of years, the lesser capability of the builders is clear for all to see. Our point being that when these ancient walls stretching far before the Romans are compared to Mesoamerica, Peruvian, and indeed ancient Indian ruins, the exquisite polygonal architecture, the precise carving and stone building present, are clear, strong, controversial evidences of a forgotten civilization. How did these ancient builders acquire such a sophisticated knowledge and awareness of stone shapes, and the subsequent placement of each stone, perfectly placed against one another, forming impenetrable barriers which have stood the tests of the ages? We feel that, regardless of what academia claims is the truth, pertaining to the origin and creators of these ancient wonders, the skills required to create them are thankfully beginning to become apparent to the majority rather than the few. This ancient, forgotten people clearly attained a level of stoneworking and construction knowledge we are yet to acquire. Clearly, a far more advanced and capable people than we are today let alone the modern historical imposters academia claims as the culprits. We feel, regardless of others' claims, the evidence to suggest an intercontinental, highly advanced, technologically superior civilization once flourished here on our planet is highly compelling.